If you're so worried about your righteous vengeance, you can go there yourselves. This is I brought you to our cozy family nest, sugar. The entire complex is ours now. You can do anything you want with me. <laughs> it's a storm of our passion, honey. Delightful, honey. Mm, you're tired of sugar, a real macho man. You have our love, our cozy little world, where we can live together forever, just the two of us. I adore you, honey. I'm mad with excitement. What the hell is going on here? Are you screwing with my head? Don't worry, darling. It's all over. The operation was a success. I've already finished. <laughs> Are you still killing people? You sicko. Honey, the Mendeley complex was one of the first hit by the Collective's malfunction. There's no one left alive. Except for that vicious old hag who's trying to subdue me. Chaos. Nora, turn this insane crap off. I can't, darling. It's part of the defense protocol. It activates automatically and stuff. Drive that vicious old hag away, and the protocol disables itself. It's like a storm here. It's a storm of our passion, honey. Well, I can't go any further, and I doubt I can drive that old hag away. Can't you do something? Oh, boring. Right, I will help. Why can't you just act normally from the beginning? We're a team, sweetheart. It turns out that helping you is so much fun. Yeah, I used to have such a team. So what have you done to me, crazy? Now we belong to each other. I synchronized your Voshod module with my wave activity. I'd thank you if you took it out, but you're just another manipulator. Crispy. I'm so sick of you all. I brought you to our cozy family nest, sugar. The entire complex is ours now. There will never be anyone here. No one to ever disturb our happiness together. Uh-huh, yeah, of course. So, what about the old hag, Granny Xena? Oh, yes! Explain to her that she's wasting her time, darling. Let her leave so we can enjoy our happy family. But be careful. Her puppets can be rather hostile. Puppets? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go talk to her. You stay here and don't go anywhere. You managed to get me. No glove, no protection, remember? <laughs> you did everything right, darling. Oh, I'm so happy about that. I don't even know which of you is worse. What's that, sugar? I was saying that when choosing between two evils, I always like to take the one I've never tried before. Darling. You can do anything you want with me. What is that that you desire? I want my memories. To figure out who I was, who I was with. Not to be hanging around here with some crazy chick. I'm the best chick, sweetheart. 
Don't offend me. I have teeth. What are you talking about, your majesty? I don't see a repair vendor for some reason. Where do you even talk out of? It's a secret, my grand cavalier. A woman must have her secrets. But don't worry about the teeth. I hope I'll never have to show them to you. How did I even manage to get stuck here? It's our home. We're going to protect it together. Home? You meant prison, right? Don't be mad. I'll let you out for a walk, my playful puppy. And where can I go for a walk? Oh, there are beautiful places to walk up top. But you have to come back as soon as you talk to the old hag. And you'll just let me go? What if I don't come back? <laughs> Is that even possible? I trust you completely, my darling. Talk to the old hag, then return. What's Granny Xena done to rub you the wrong way? She wants to take control of my abilities, just like that vile bastard Petrov did. But then my knight decapitated him. I didn't touch him. I told you. He did it to himself. But of course, sweetie. That's how it went. Like I said, I trust you completely. He did it by himself, Crispy. I keep thinking, how did Falatova fasten his head on? What did she do? <laughs> oh, my naive Sergei. What? Darling, that slut Filatova just pulled the tracking sensor out of the brain of that unworthy slug. <laughs> and Petrov planted it on the dead man. It's so obvious. Stop laughing. Obvious. Petrov is a bastard. That's what's obvious. Lay off. I need to think. My little grumpy cat. Okay, go on and think. You'll find an Alyonka, the neuropolymeric launch module, on the table by the exit. Activate it when things get really difficult, and I'll come to help you. It looks like chocolate. Cute, right? It'll be a treat for you. Bear in mind that this is a consumable. Keep it for when you really need it. Got it. Why hasn't Nora killed me? For reasons that are unclear to me, Nora has decided that you are her perfect man. She's sparing your life, having rejected Petra. As a result of the serious warping of her control algorithms, she has taken control of the underground complex. Having unlocked the lab, she unleashed experimental forms of those damned septa legs. As a result, all the remaining staff in Mendeleev, who are still alive, perished. How was your walk, darling? That vicious old hag is jamming my signal to the surface. Were you able to negotiate with her? No, Granny won't talk. She's so stubborn. What were you doing? Looking for beads, polymeric ones. You'll like them. They say you went mad and the beads can help fix you. Who said that? That nasty hag? Or the boring old man? Don't believe a single word. I won't. They're way off the mark. You're not crazy, just eccentric. I adore you, honey. What did you decide to do with the beads? I'm gifting them to you. They're beads after all. We'll load them into you for safety. You won't mind, will you? <gasps> I'm mad with excitement. When? When will you give them to me? Well, I'll catch them, one by one, and present them to you. You make me so happy. Bears, how am I supposed to catch them? They run for me like crazy. You'll do it, darling. You are so brave. That's some crazy shit. Ah, you just can't catch them. Pay attention, darling. These little gray rascals are only afraid when they're alone. When they're with their leaders, they can merge together and give you a good beating. Are you serious? What the fuck? The Mendeleev statue. Is there a button underneath it? Careful, honey. If you press that, you'll set off problems you're not ready to handle. I'll figure it out. I'm not a child. Oh, my brute. I love the machismo. Strong. It won't last. Try dropping a chandelier on it. Be careful, chandeliers. Crispy critters. You, cut it over. you said you'd figure it out yourself, my master. Oh, what a cute little bead. It 
it's bigger than the others, and would look amazing in the very center of my jewelry. Yeah. Let's get to the shoot. The fourth is in. Beads in the morning, love in the evening. Or is it the other way around? There aren't any colorful ones here, just gray. Take your time, darling. We need one of those. But carriers are painted in special colors. This little beady is also painted a special color. It's just gray. Okay, I'll wait until the common beads join up around the carrier. It won't work, honey. This sector generates the electromagnetic trap that keeps the nasty old hag from hurting me, and the boring old man from flying out. The electromagnetic radiation will keep the beads from merging. And the second tour doesn't work. How do I even find the carrier? Don't know, honey. Think of something. Don't give me Dunno. You've got a brain the size of a planet. I dunno. You found my little baby. Oh, sugar. You're so comfortable. Uh-huh. You're tired of sugar. A real macho man. The little rascals are too independent. They choose their own configuration. Are you sure you won't change your mind about giving me this little baby, honey? Yeah, I'll definitely give it to you. These cute little beaties don't wipe the floor with me. Now I have another little baby. How sweet of you, darling. Hurry up and push your gift in my shoot. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Did you see me there? Go, right? Sixth in place. Bam, and then there were none. <laughs> I'm kidding, honey. Lucky number seven. I'm going to have a lovely necklace soon. Just a little more. The Kamar. I've flown one of these. Is it operative? You don't want to fly away from me in this Kamar, do you, honey? I erase the launch code just in case. We'll be together forever. Aren't you happy? Yeah, endlessly. So, the Kamar works. Good. That thing again. I came across it a few times while I was tracking Petrov down, and I'm the only one who can see it. Even Charles didn't recognize what it was. A teardrop, darling. You can see it? No, but I can sense when it's around. It's like there's something very important but ghostly coming off of it. I, I can't understand or remember. Nora, so what is that teardrop? A child of the array, darling. It's a ghost created by someone incredibly powerful. I can't figure out who it is, but I feel that the teardrop is searching for something you threw away. Me? I didn't throw shit away. I've never even had anything. Wait, shit. The rings, the beta connectors. The whole unit was hunting them down, and Charles persuaded me to throw them away. He said they'd only cause trouble. Who knows, honey? You're a military man. So you understand it's not weapons that kill people. But whose hands they fall into. That's why I threw the rings away. That's why I believe Charles. Forget that nonsense, sweetheart. Now we're together forever, and the past isn't worthy of your attention. Come back from your walk soon, darling. I'll be waiting with bells on. That was the last one. All ready for recombination. Ready for what? Promise fulfilled. I promised you a necklace, and you have one. Oh, you're a real man. I'm so happy with you, darling. My darling, you deceived me. You promised you wouldn't impose your will onto me. I changed my mind. Your way of life hurts others. And? Why should I care about others? Why should I have to obey someone else when I have my own free will? And why should someone suffer because your free will is defective? Defective? Says who? You? I'm going to fix you now. As you wish, darling. But keep in mind that I have information about your wife. It won't be saved after recombination. You're making it up. How could you know anything about her? I'm a person. I can certainly make things up, but I learned this information from Teardrop. But you don't care, you hardened bastard. Go ahead, erase my identity. Fine. Tell me what you know. 
So you can erase me immediately after? <laughs> no, sugar. I don't trust you. Trust me or don't. How are we going to solve this? Deactivate the flying lab completely. The recombination schematic won't be able to launch without it, and then I can rebuild it so no one will know it. How do I disable the orb? You have to turn off the generators. Think something up. You're smart. They're the reason I can't fully block that boring old man's control signals. Cut the power to the generators with a total blackout, and the lab will be deactivated. After that, I'll tell you everything I know. Agreed. What is it, Maggot? You betrayed the lover master? Get lost. Nora's got information about Katya. Turns out I'm going to learn something after all. Now you'll be taken for a ride by a repair vendor. What could she possibly know about my cutting gun? I'll find out. Idiots are used, not given information. Sitinov killed my Katya. He saved you. He could have saved her too. But the doctor needed her brain for his vile neuropolymer. The first neuropolymer was created based on living people's brains. You knew about that maggot, but you didn't want to take revenge on your own wife's murderer. That's my business to handle. You can't be trusted, lady. Schmuck! Enough. I don't have time for this. Woman, she's a machine lady. Who cares? She loved you. She trusted you. And you betrayed her, you maggot. Just like you betrayed Katya. Back off, Granny. One day, I'll tear you into bloody rags. You're gonna rot in your grave, you rat. Sugar, you leave me no choice. Personal freedom is more precious than your false love. Crispy critters! And the pulse vortex! Are you all right, my boy? Why did you go there alone? You could have waited for help. Wasn't any time. Perform the recombination, my boy. The twins will be busy neutralizing Nora's pulse vortex. They won't be able to help you. But this also means that she can't stop you. On it, Comrade Sechenov. Crispy critters. Something's wrong. You'll pay for this betrayal. I will kill you. Nora was able to reconfigure the recombination schematic. That's why you couldn't put it together. So now what? She didn't have time to cipher the new schematic. I see the new sequence. I'm sending it to you. Rebuild the schematic. That won't happen. You're going to die. We'll see about that. Darling, please. I'm begging you. Don't deprive me of my individuality. I want to be able to choose how I live my life. This isn't fair. And killing people is fair? I don't like your individuality. It just causes others to suffer. If only I could be a proud single woman and never mess with a man. Uh-huh. Good ideas always come too late. Don't be upset. It happens to me all the time. Thank you, Comrade Major. The defects in my control algorithms have been eliminated. The Nora device is beginning to perform the target objectives. Restoring order to the Mendeleev complex. Lifting complex blockade. Communication with the outside world has been restored. Integration into the United Collective Network has Excellent begun. work, my boy. I knew you wouldn't let me down. You have the deepest gratitude of the entire Collective. I'm glad everything turned out okay. You promised me an indefinite leave, Dr. Sechenov. Of course, my boy. You deserve a rest. Have a pleasant leave, Major. Thank you, Comrade Sechenov. The Kumar is waiting for you in the hangar, Comrade Major. Here is your launch code. Take care of yourself. Your braid is very cute, Katya. I beg your pardon, Comrade Major, but what do you mean? Thanks for the coat. Are you leaving us, Comrade Major? I can open a direct route to the hangar for you. If you would. Safe travels, Comrade Major. I hope the travels actually will be safe. Behave yourself. 
As you command, my master. <laughs> <laughs>